Now we will create a page that will display all the blog posts. And again, because we are using blogs to implement full site editing, um, we don't want to use like default approach that WordPress has for displaying blog posts um, with uh, and, and define a special template for that like home PHP, for example, because if we use blocks for everything, then we should stick to it. And this approach works okay if we don't have too much content. And for a site like this, it, it works very well. So let's go to Pinegrow. And this will be quite easy because we will just duplicate this section And here we will say all my blog post. And we will change the post, the show posts. So here what we'll do, it will still be custom query and it can, and let's change the ID, so it will be all posts. It will display, it will sort the posts from uh, the re most recent one down. And then in real life, we, will, we would say 10 or so posts per page, but we just have four like posts on our page and we want to try the pagination. So let's say three, so that we get the pagination. And then here we say yes, so we will paginate results. And then what, what we need to do, we need the, to display the pagination. So we can find it in our blocks. So pagination, where is it? actually not here. We can find it in bootstrap components. Bootstrap comes with pagination controls. Okay, so let's find maybe this one, a simple one would work okay. So let's take it and we put it in here instead of the button. And let's try to center it. text center doesn't help. So, you know, <laughs> web development, it's always kind of problem solving and brain, brain teasers. So what would be a good way to do it? Well, maybe if we just change the display to inline block, that might help. Let's try. Yeah, it did. So now here it is, our pagination. And let's uh, select the list. So it's basically an unordered list. And then we go to WordPress. And here we have global smart, now here post pagination smart action. And why is it smart? You will see. So which query, which show post does this refer to? So it's for all posts. So we will use this element as a template and Pinegrow will smartly like adjust everything. So to this layout, and then we select previous page link that will be this page item. Next page link, it's uh, this one at the end. And then the page item which is repeated for each page is this. And then class for the active repeated element. I think for Bootstrap it's active. 
and then we don't need um, the rest of this and then let's select the block we need to change we, because we duplicated the section so it still is recent posts and we don't want to have the same name the same ID so this will be all posts and we are including the same style post CSS because we are using the, the our aspect ratio class uh, here as well so is this all we need to do so yeah we don't want to load edited post because we have show posts here in the block so there is no need to load the edited post okay let's try and let's save it and export the team and go to our WordPress so now we need a new page that will display all blog posts so we go to dashboard pages and we will say add new all posts so now we need to add the blocks first let's do the header and the footer and then here all posts is here add it here and then we can customize the title Okay, and publish, view page, so here they are, so we have, it's a bit funny, right, so we have, okay, back, it doesn't go, it's on the first page, so second page, it's just one post, okay, because we, we have four all together, but then we have two and three that don't do anything, so why is that? So again, let's go back to to PineGrow and what you know what we did here. We told the pagination smart action that this item is repeated for every page, and then these two guys are just here, just as they are. And what happens? They get exported just as they are, uh, without any function. So, like, like we had here with these columns, so it's very easy to solve. We just say don't export these two pagination items. And save and do quick export and reload. And now we have it here. So back, next, back. Everything works. We could visually like um, do something up here, a, a banner or a, a hero or at least some kind of divider. Um, but for now, I guess it's okay. Um, so yeah, let's add the, this page to the menu. So we will customize the page menus main navigation so we will delete this one remove and we will add all posts publish and we can also get here okay it's still not connected so we need to do edit page and then view all button link we will select a page 
all posts. Update view page. View all. And here we are. All my great posts are here. Of course, the layout of this could be completely different. Um, design is not so good. It needs some kind of um, yeah, vi visual divider up here. Um, so let's, let's just do it. It hurts our eyes a bit to have it like that. So the simple way is we can try to do light background. Oh, but then we have the white issues here. Okay. Anyway, that's your homework. You can make it look nicer. Solve the visual problem here. And as you could see, we, we could create this feature very quickly and easily. And our web page is getting very powerful. And we have a lot of, you know, dynamic features and, and still keeping the nice way of building the page with blocks. And in the next part, which maybe we will do next week, I'm running out of time today, we can do fancy contact me page uh, with a form that will send the information uh, through email. Okay, enjoy and have a good week.